Hello, I'm Bob Little coming to you from Charlotte, North Carolina, and today's paint defect topic is solvent popping. Have you ever painted and clear coated something and it looks great just to be disappointed after the bake cycle and the next day when you see these micro pops in the surface? Well, this is solvent pop. Solvent pop is small holes in the paint film showing up after drying. Well, what causes this defect? Well, there are multiple reasons why this may have happened, and let's cover some of them. Proper flash times will enable solvent to escape out of the film prior to skinning over, while rushing flash times will trap solvent that will break through the film and leave a permanent microscopic hole in the surface. Improper selection of the additives, such as reducer or thinner, as well as activator or hardener. Also, using too fast of an adjustment for the condition has a much higher likelihood of causing solvent pop due to trying to get the flow and look needed during application. When the film does not wet up quickly, we tend to apply more and with a little closer spray gun distance. This can cause solvent to be trapped. This solvent will eventually come out, but if the surface is skinned, it will leave a solvent pop in the surface. Some of the other causes could be an incorrect spray gun setup or improper distance or temperature during IR drying. So how can we prevent this from happening? Learning how paint chemistry works and how paint dries. We need to keep the film open long enough to get the majority of the solvent out of the film prior to it closing up or skinning over. This involves the following. Using the right adjustment, such as the reducers and thinners, proper spray gun setups, correct inlet pressure for the spray gun, and proper flash times in order to evacuate the solvents prior to the next layer. Now do not apply too much at one time, which will cause the outside layer to dry first before the solvent leaves the film. When using IR to dry a paint film, it is important to set maximum temperatures as well as final flash offs prior to using IR. Allow proper flash times when baking prior to moving a vehicle or parts into an oven or switching on the bake cycle. Open the doors or bring out the vehicle after the bake cycle is complete or the oven is switched off. All of these can prevent solvent popping. Make sure to review each layer to find out the root cause. Just because it shows up in the clear coat doesn't mean the issue was caused by the clear coat. It could have been any layer in the paint film releasing solvent. Finally, let's look at how we can fix solvent popping. First, determine how deep the problem is. Fixing solvent pop may be as easy as sanding and polishing them out. If the issue is severe, however, it may mean sanding and repainting. The key is to try and sand a small spot first and see if you can polish it out. So thanks for tuning in, and we will see you next time in our Paint Defects tutorial.